monoclonal antibodies. Antibodies are Y-shaped molecules from the protein family. Our body produces billions of them and each type of antibody is associated with a specific action. If an antibody finds its target, it attaches itself to it. In some cases, it sends out a signal to the immune system to provoke a reaction from it. This reaction may be a call for cells to intervene to destroy the intruder that has been identified. In the laboratory, we are now able to produce antibodies that carry out a single specific action. We also know how to multiply these antibodies in large quantities. These are called monoclonal antibodies. Mono meaning one action and clone because they are multiplied identically. Cancer cells protect themselves from killer T cells by slowing down or blocking their attacks. These are called immunosuppressive mechanisms. They suppress the immune system and limit its capacity for defense. Here is an example of a blocking mechanism. They activate the PD-1 program of the T cells. What is PD-1? PD-1 is a program that deactivates the T cells. This program is normally controlled by our immune system. It stops the activation of T cells preventing the development of autoimmune diseases where the body attacks its own healthy cells. For T cells to be effective against cancer cells, their attack must not be blocked or slowed down by the cancer cells. To help the T cells do their job, two monoclonal antibodies can be used. One that prevents the PD-1 program activation and another that prevents the cancer cell from reacting. The blocking mechanism must be stopped so that the tumor can be attacked effectively. Doctors understand that the inhibition of the immune system must be prevented so that it can fight against the tumor. Researchers have identified various antibodies that can be used to either activate or block different programs to stimulate our cells. We must now find out how to use them effectively. Thank you.